I'll definitely get it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little on the last side, but yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the year again where the Sonic Amateur ah! Gaming Expo comes aboard to show us what what today's um, hot um, game designers are willing to do with the blue blur himself. Yep. Yay! Welcome to Sage 2020 Showcase. Wait a minute. Sage is an anagram of Sega. <gasps> Sorry. Well, I was going to say ages, but fair enough. Sonic does not approve of that Eggman statue. I think if you click on him, he actually does the life loss animation. Uh, what? Really? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Our first, uh, well, our first game up to that is uh, actually a fan recreation of the original Sonic Robo Blast by, by Earl Steen. I have oh, cool. my I have the music turned down on this video almost all the way, and yet that still bursts my eardrums. It's it's wow. PC and it's indie development, so that means they get to you know give their sound editing, as we'll soon see later on with Song GT, give their sound editing like a break. They have a rough. Well, Song GT is kind of an isolated case, but we'll get to that once we get to it. Anywho. I'm waiting. Yeah, I, I kept this hanging just because I discovered this Easter egg during during one of my um, attempts to record this a little bit. So yeah, um, for those that are not immediately familiar with Sonic Robo Blast, um, not... I mean, some of you may have already already know of its sequel, Sonic Robo Blast 2, which is often considered one of the most, if not the most, ambitious Sonic fr fan project to ever reach the uh, interact uh, <laughs> recesses of the internet. It's yes. definitely one of the more widespread ones. Can I just say, these animations are, in my opinion, on on par, if not better, than uh, Sonic Advance. Like, these are some damn good animations. They're smooth. Mm -hmm. I like it. I mean, if uh, not Sonic, Sonic Advance, I'd also just say Sonic Mania, because, I mean, it's pretty obvious that this game is running on a um, engine that more or less mimics that game. Right. Uh, oh, I guess while we're here, James, we should explain. So, we wanted to, just because Sage has been getting, like, further and more and more like publicity and thus drawing more and more attention for more and more games is getting to kind of it's getting kind of it is getting to kind of the point where it's almost like it's almost getting almost impossible to even look at them all all at once oh so, yeah like like this year sage in particular had a lot of really a really good selection of games this year Yep, so much so that we're actually going to be splitting up our little showcase to uh, two or three videos at the very maximum, where I showcase my picks, Logan showcases his picks, and we do some of the other stuff in between. And you my picks, we just mean whatever... Because... You can tell I'm evil because of my eyes. They are very evil looking. Oh, jeez! Yeah, very just to evil elaborate, um, the, we were talking about Sonic Robo about the last two earlier. Like, way back in, like, the Genesis but up uh, of fan games, there was a Sonic Robo Blast 1, but as you would expect being, like, the Stone Ages of fan games, it wasn't particularly good. So this game basically tries to polish it up a bit to be a quality similar to how the current uh, Robo Blast 2 is, just on okay. a tiny scale. Right. I mean, the whole the whole history behind Sonic Robo Blast is definitely something worth checking out, though, just because, again, if not for the original game, then its sequel really amped up the, amped up, you know... The over the overall like to show what this fa what fan creators can do when when given the time and energy. Absolutely, yeah. and Ooh. no and no one better than Sonic. And honestly, I like the Sonic community for that because and Sega as well because it's they they don't try to crush or uh, oh jeez a new one. All right, so our next game up to bat because yeah I'm going to be doing these mostly mostly in short spurts. This one is Linja versus the Main Clowns. Um, this one is actually made by uh, a particular artist I know on DeviantArt, which is why I decided to show it off to give him a little bit of love. And um, I shall post his name right around here so you guys can go check out his DeviantArt account and see what all the other uh, 2D artwork he does. Oh, so, is, um, This is cute. So you take control of Linja, the ninja, and he's on on a quest to free free the capital's um, denizens of puppies from the evil main clowns. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did Louis you Dad. say his name is Linja, the ninja? Yep. The ninja, yes. Ninja the Ninja. I don't you believe it. Well, believe it, son, because, yeah, I mean, from what I play, this is actually fairly, like, it's a pretty, it's, oh, that's it's cool. like, handles pretty well, and, I mean, the artwork kind of goes without saying, like, just, like, I mean, I've definitely seen this dude's work, work, but I never would have expected it to be so, like, Vibrant? like, as expressive as I'm seeing right now. Yeah, I, I like this. I, again, I, I always appreciate nice little hand-drawn animations like this. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. So, oh, okay. But yes, we are... Aha, nice. What was I going to say? Uh, not quite, say... but thankfully these, these balloons do respawn. 
Okay, we mentioned Sage, we mentioned this- Oh yeah, I was gonna say that I really appreciate Sega for- Up until this point, like, the fact that they were going as far as to encourage and really, like, support their fans for, you know, getting into game development and trying out things as opposed to other companies that try to see something then immediately see it as only a threat and nothing else. But... And and then I I guess I'm always ah oh, I'm getting so tongue tied today. One thing I've always been very curious about is like where did Sage start off? Like was it like official like like Sega people who wanted to like give it a look see or was it all just run by the community? I think it was primarily run by the community. And I mean also a funny coincidence because uh, this year spawn sparks the 20th anniversary of Sage. Goodness, I feel old. Yeah, oh. the, the fan game community is no lie. Oh. I mean, hell, I mean, hell, the fact that in recent years they've actually been pushing out, pushing, like, for other original creations to be showcased, or heck, maybe even other IPs that are not directly tied to Sonic, just to show up, strut their stuff, and, you know, hope, hope they see, they, they can use it as an excuse to, um, you know, get the word out. Actually, yeah. would anybody else like to feel old for another reason? Why so? Uh, Macalemsy. Ah. Hmm. Uh,. <laughs> Uh, the, this year, oh, uh, this rain. Wow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a girl. Oh, yeah, I sure. know. The clown, is the, these like, are they aliens? But yeah, just um, like. Oh, well, they're robots, and apparently this one apparently wants to help us out. Every time I think of clown robots, I think of Soul Eater, and that does not bring up good memories. Very, that, that, that is just so. Um, I will say first off, sorry if I didn't talk a whole lot during this. I got pulled away to do some laundry, and second off, well, what were you about to say, Matt? Uh, yeah, so, uh, here's another thing to make everybody feel old. This, uh, today, the Dreamcast is old enough to drink. Oh, you know what, Matt? I can, I can kind of top that. Today, the PS1 turned 25. Yeah. Oh, that's right, it did. Oh, that's right, Seely is here, too. <laughs> In fact, Ninja Seely could have voiced that character. And she's just, she was just in time to see the ninja make it make his way out of the stage and out of out of out of the I, video because um, I didn't hear oh. the entire t I've been here the entire time I've just been quiet I know uh, I'm sorry so we're hopping so, right on to the next, the next one. video we'll be showing off is actually one that um I actually showed off last year um I got a bit of an update as of recently um Sonic Speed Course basically Sonic's answer to Kirby's Dream Course oh golf time Ooh. well All I right. do like. I do like the Sonic Jam S Skart design. I can take that. Not only that, but the soundtrack got a lot more Jet Set Radio up in here. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. anything hey, anything that emulates Jet Set Radio is good in my books. I'm down. Including that one totally not Jet Set Radio sequel we're gonna get soon. I want it. <laughs> now yeah. give it to me. So due to this demo for Sonic Speed Course, not only can you play as Sonic, but you can also play as his other Plastic friends too, Amy. and they they directly rip their mouth straight from That does not look like Amy. That's well, classic well, believe, yeah, I was about to say, it, you don't know this since you're not a big Sonic fan like a lot of us. Amy looks quite a bit different during the classic era than she does nowadays. Uh, uh, once upon a time, she used to be human. No, <laughs> no you're thinking of someone else. No, I'm saying, like, I'm trying to make the joke of that. They, yeah, at one point they did want to try and make a human Amy. Oh my god. Oh, you're talking, oh, you're talking about Madonna. This is yeah. Kirby Speed Course. Or Kirby, yeah, Dream Course, Kirby yeah. Dream Course. No way! Yeah. Oh, what? So, ha having played the original Dream Course, James, how do you think this feel like feels in comparison? It's, I mean, it handles about as nice as well as Dream Course ever did, and much I like Dream Course, will... it's also kind of tricky. I don't think right. it'll ever oh. be as dreamy as Dream Course. There you go. I was waiting for it. And oh, can you do it? Oh. Oh, just off by an inch. Oh, oh come on. But yeah, for those of you that for those out there that don't know what Sonic Speed Course or Hell Dream Course is, you're right, basically playing mini golf, golf with Sonic. Mm -hmm. oh. Although since we're playing on Angel Island, I decided to pick Knuckles because uh, you know better than better than the rest of them. Also, right. I, apo Ooh. I apologize every single time I think of mini golf. Now, I I love mini golf. I really do. I also love uh, Kirby Dream Course. Ooh. Dear Lord, all I can think of is hap is a uh, Happy Gilmore and the mini golf scene. <laughs> Oh, I don't you know. know. I'll have to check I'm that honestly kind 
Honestly, now that we discovered the Dream Race of Parsec, I'm kind of surprised that we don't do any, like, Dream Course sessions for the channel. Please. I mean, honestly, 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 Hype, even now, we don't even need Parsec to do any multiplayer Dream Course stuff, because that game is on the uh, Super NES app. Can I please? Yeah. I want to be a part of that. Uh, you're probably better at it than I am, so I'm down for that. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that reminds me. I'm going to go check something. I'll be right back. Okay. Now, let's see if Knuckles can make this hole in, in one go. Hole. No, nope. he cannot, and oh. he falls right back down to the floor. Oh, that was Oops. fail. That was total it, fail. That's not and even I mean, good enough to get a birdie by this point. Sorry, at this point, I, Knuckles. Oh. Oh. Ah. No good. Knuckles, that was, a real bo that was a real bogus move you made there. Well, I mean, how do you expect me to play golf with hands like these? You have hands? Do I have hands? Oh, oh come on, oh, you should have gotten in the there. Okay. Oh. Well, out of health. And out of oh. time, because we're going to move on to our next game. So, Rubato. this one is Rubato. You know, I'm not going to lie, because, like, before we did this, I was watching a friend of mine streaming a whole bunch of the entries in Sage, and once he got to this game, the first thing, one of the first things that came to my mind is that, like, I am back. so, I guess this is one of the games James is going to show off. I mean, I figured why not? It's quirky enough. Wait, what is this now? This is Rubato, and in it, you get to play as a frog. I assume Mr. it's also named Rubato. Rubato. No, frog. And it's just, this is one of those really weird sort of um, games where it's kind of got this, like, you're playing as this frog who just has the most chillest face no matter what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And he just hops around as if, as if it was just like, eh. And here we have the most vibin' toad ever. Well, Pretty game. much, yeah. You're totally vibin'. So basically, uh, the main gimmick behind Rubato is that as a frog, you, you can actually use your tongue to grab onto all sorts of things and then, um, well, do whatever needs to be done with them. Like, you can fling, uh, and you can also Ugh. punch him with the cursor if you feel like. This kind Why of, would you do that? This kind of looks like a more... Actually, no, that game is kind of puzzly, but a more puzzle-based version of uh, Owl Boy, considering how the cursor works in that game. I can see that. Uh, what's kind of funny is that, like, I don't know if James is going to show it off. Well, actually, I don't Secret. even know if it's technically in the... Ah, you I'll thought you'd find something cool here. Well, maybe check back later. I was about to say, like, something that... I'm not even sure if it is in the demo, but I've heard some of the devs talk about. They were, they were originally going to have, like, a Sonic cameo in this game, but they ended up replacing it with a different character. I don't think that character appears in this demo, though. I don't believe so, no. I mean, there is a level there is a level creator that you can unlock after being the demo, but I'm not Ooh. sure if that's if you can find the quote unquote secret cameo through that. At least uh, I don't think so. At least Spike's. But I miss I was away for a couple of minutes. You, uh, well, we're playing as a frog now. We're playing as the most vibin' toad ever. The and he's without punching. And, he, and he's without <laughs> a tail, so he's not so unique. Froggy. <laughs> that would be some shit if like I mean, I understand this is like an original IP, but for all we, since this is essentially a part of Sage, this may as well be Froggy for all I care. Froggy. Froggy's big Froggy Adventure oh, 3! <laughs> Sorry, I love the way you flipped that. Just like, yeah. this bitch empty yeet. He what? flipped the bitch! What? So yeah, otherwise, yeah, as the front. Not only can you use your tongue against the uh, against the uh, blocks, but you can also use them against like the two types of enemies they showcase in this demo, namely onion heads and runny rabbits. Onion do, heads. Do, 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 do. I mean, what else can you really call them? Yeah, because I, uh, I guess that is one thing that we can like talk about with Seely is that like to help her get a little bit more interested. Like originally, Sage was just for like Sonic fan games. In fact, that was part like part of its acronym is the Sonic Amateur Gaming Expo. But the, Which the also past couple of years, to coincidentally be an anagram of Sega. Kind of, but well, for the past together. couple of years. I was about to say, so, like, the past couple of years, they've been getting, like, a lot more inclusive when it comes to what kind of fan games, to a point where it's, like, they're not even limiting themselves to just Sonic games. They'll take, like, indie games, or even fan games from other franchises. Like, there's a Mega Man one that James is going to show off later, and there's also a Mario one, too. Wow. Who are you? I'm trying to get ready to go to the store. <laughs> what? Wait, and look on your face. You're totally vibing. Oh, no. You're... Oh, you're going to try to hate me, aren't you? Oh. Bring it on! 
I love how the Brog's expression actually does change during the cutscenes. Also, Steve, do you know what anagram is? Yes, I know what it is. Okay. I'm, the, I'm just not disagreeing with you is why I'm not saying anything. Now toss him like the Ooh. bitch he is. Oh, he's a dumpling. So they're not yeah. onions, they're dumplings. I was about to say, they, he, they, I, look, I, they really look wait, like wait, wait. onions, this, though, And this fair. is thus the final form of the Bao Pixar short. Oh, I was about to say, this is the final look of Onion Bubs. Onion Bubs? It's a Homestar thing. Ah. Mm. Well, you really ran with that joke. Oop. Oh no, he has and minions. It, and that joke got flipped upside the head, and now he's angry. He's do, do, angry. Do. I don't think he's angry, but I don't think his his uh, his um strategies change much. So oh, it's still, still the same boss fight for. Yeah. I think he bounces yeah. around just a little more. Yeah, it looks like his bouncing is just a little bit more. Ooh. Oh. Wow, impressive performance, little hero. Though it seems I jumped the gun here. Sorry about that. Uh, no, no, I gotta no, head to the no. store now anyway. Need groceries. See you later! Oh, okay, well, oh, And then he hurt. ascends. Looks like a plan that needed you. And that's it for the demo. Well, that's weird, because I could have sworn there was another level in the demo where you can actually race. If there is, I mean, there could be. But with that said, that's that's pretty much the, like the big portion of the demo anyway and well here's the credits who made the game uh, give them their love and support and um what you don't what you've beaten the demo you can little you can just fill around with the title screen it however much you want oh the, 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 the title screen is full of rabbits and onions and squares ow 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 Ah, what the heck. You may you hate to my froggy and so we move on to our next game for the show, for my bit of the showcase, Sonic Freedom. So uh, this one's actually pretty special in the fact that it yearns to try oh, to make a Sonic, a 2D Sonic game in the style of the of the Sonic CD intro and the Sonic OVA. This looks awesome. Oh yeah, wow. basically, it's like it looks great. The level design is pretty sprawling. Um, it can be a little bit weirder times. And for this game, um, Sonic's moveset is set the same as CD. He has the super peel out, which is just an inferior spin dash, fight me. And he also has a brand new move that he can use in this game. Um, I think it's called the shuttle jump or something. Oh, why don't you explain it, James? So with the press of a button, you can literally have Sonic floating in midair and then aim him and well, aim him anywhere within the air and he'll launch in that particular direction. It's basically like a very a lower elaborate air dash slash homing attack. Can, can I just say... I'm back. Hey, I'm still, back. There's I, some time I, for Sonic I, Freedom. I want to say I'm welcome back and I'm just looking at this and I'm reminded that, yeah, when I first saw footage of this on Twitter, I was still impressed then. I'm impressed now to see this working. Yeah, and please, and let me just say, and I know, like, we know that Ooh. they would, uh, Sega, hire these people. Jeez. Or at the very least, these animators. Yeah. I, and I like this. It's, it's like, just to, just to make sure I'm remembering this correctly, this is like based on like the original Sega CD opening, right? Yeah. Yep. It's awesome. literally it's literally running off off the the original Toei slash uh, Team Junio art style that they use for those games. Awesome. Well, that ga well that game and also the OVA. So. Oh right, Toy. Yeah. I was more thinking uh, Sonic Mania's opening. Well, uh, that Mania's too. was um, Mania's isn't one for one like it, but I can see the resemblance. Oh, one thing I want to say about that little like sh that little air dash move that James does: if you hit an enemy while he, you can technically only do one while you're in the air, unless you hit an enemy while you're doing it. In which case, it resets so you can do a second one. Okay. So anyway, I mean, now now we that we can see uh, a Sonic 2D game like this is possible. Just just do it. Just do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Damn it. Just do it! So, I guess other one other thing I will say regarding this demo that's a bit unfortunate is that this is technically an alpha demo for the game, and unfortunately the creator of the of the uh, project has gone on record stating that the programmer that he had that he um, hired for well has on board for the, had on board for this project has went MIA. So unfortunately oh. he is currently on the lookout for a new programmer. So this is sort of like an outdated demo, but one that he decided to post anyway, and well with that said we're pretty much done. Hey I have an that idea, was, Max. I'm White sorry, Pet. that was 
Hang on, real quick, Matt. I just want to say, real quick, that was funny. Just the timing, the timing of just Sonic standing there and what James said. Like, oh, are, yeah. you, re are you kidding me? Now, what are you saying, Matt? Go ahead. Uh, I have an idea. Just get Maxi Whitehead. <laughs> or, um, if he's free. But yeah, what's the this new game we're playing now? That's the person who made Mania, right? I'm very tired. Uh, Christian, Christian Whitehead, Whitehead, yeah, Chris, was, was the main Chris guy that made um, Sonic Mania. Yeah. Alright, so, Sorry, James, what is this? So, um, for next up to that is uh, Victory Heat Rally, which kind of caught me by surprise because this is a game that is trying to, that is doing its damnedest to make a more modern, um, it's a more modern take on an old Sega arcade title called Power Drift. Oh, I hmm. remember Power Drift. Which the entire road is literally comprised of a shitload of sprites that try to emulate the feeling of being on the road. Huh. And well, even though once you pause the game, it looks like you're on piano keyboards. Literally. <laughs> Which I mean, I'll give credit where it's due. Like this, like whoever the, the, the person that designed this uh, this uh, particular project did a really damn good job of doing so, and even emulating a very similar feel to like a '90s Sega arcade titles. Oh, I can see that in the in the color palette and everything. I, I this is looking pretty, pretty nicely. Um, and with that said, how about I show off one race? Let's see. Alrighty. Unfortunately, with this demo, the, the only mode available is the time trial, and there's only one stage to play, so this is really all you can really get out of it. So this uh, one won't take long at all, but at the same time, <laughs> it's there, still very fanatic, frantic. Still, oh though, god, it, it captures is, the energy really nicely. This, oh my god, this kind of reminds me. This is about. This is almost as fast as original. Uh, no, it's faster than original Web Zero. Right. I want to say, but but real talk, like, and we'll see some more games like this. Like, there are some of these games where I'm honestly like baffled they haven't been picked up yet by a publisher or any indie publisher at that point. Because some of these, like, have a lot of nice polish to them. Yeah, I mean, give it time. Maybe maybe they'll get someone as, um, as awesome as, like, say, Devolver Digital to pick something like this up. Right. Yeah. Or, you just, know, oh, just oh Sega themselves. I think I already asked Seeley, did you ever play any sort of, like, racing games in the arcade? Uh... Oh. A couple, but I can't remember the names of them. What were like the what were your go-to games then at the arcade? Marty. Um and? it's been so it's been so long I can't quite remember. That is fair. Okay. Final hang in there. I mean, hang in there. Hang in there! But um actually as far as racing arcade racers are concerned, I don't the like the one that immediately comes to mind is Cruising World. Cruising oh yeah, and then there's Cruising USA, the N sixty four one. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember playing an arcade version of Crazy Taxi once. <laughs> Me too. That was pretty good. Same. Had the whole taxi colored, like, I, I feel bad because sometimes, like, let's be honest, like, sometimes with the arcade it was almost all in the marketing in the sense of, like, it was always about what the cabinet looked like that actually drew your attention, not even, like, of course. That sucks. Oh, well. But unfortunately, that's all we can show off of the demo, so we're gonna have to say a fond farewell oh, to it as, as we yeah. move on to our next game, which... This one is probably one that caught me the most off guard because this right here is um, this right here is a pretty much a fan recreation of Sonic Extreme, the can the long canceled um, Sega Saturn game. Which, well, really? I mean, there's multiple stories about how it essentially was supposed to be Sonic's first foray into 3D and how a whole bunch of crap came and happened, and it pretty much well got abandoned for I say yeah and well here we are. Hey what time well, are you guys in uh in the video? <clears throat> oh. In the video. Like um, we're past twenty three thirty one, thirty two. Okay, 32. then I'm good. Past... I'm good. Yeah you're fine. Okay. Oh, don't worry. So Jade. for this demo they actually do have um four levels available for the get goes and we're gonna start off with Jade Gully and oh. I mean I think what I find the most most awesome about this is that this is probably the one you know attempt at recreating Sonic Extreme that feels pretty damn close to accurate. Wow, I, I, it's it's whether or not that's a, head. I see why yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it's like they did a good job of they did a good job of staying accurate to extreme. Whether or not that's a good thing depends on what you think of the game. I, I mean, I'm I'm liking this, but I go ahead. The mo it feels like I'm having the motion sickness back in the nineties. I mean, I'm not. I don't mind. Whoa, and that's awesome. But, that's okay. Cool. 
I, I understand if, say, someone like Matt or Celie have to avert their eyes a little bit just because of the depth of field thing, but, like... It, it's kind of hurting a little bit, but I can get used to it. Yeah, it's kind of... Ugh. I feel like this would be more tolerable if they didn't bother trying to recapture the fish islands. Wait, Maybe. No, I think th I think that's part. I think that's partially what gave Sonic Extreme its initial charm. Okay. The fact that it did run off of such a very unique art style. Though I do agree that like now that it's a little more like now that's actually being run in real time as opposed to well, you know, the original like pitches for the project would I mean seem a little easier on the eyes, but otherwise, yeah, it's like. Okay, this, it's bizarre. This to say the is kind of hurting my eyes, and please know, I'm one of those weird people. I'm I'm a person Good who job. actually doesn't get motion sickness from VR games. This, however, this is hurting. I'm saying that I honestly don't. I, I don't mind it. It it. I see where it could throw people off a bit. It's like taking that rolling pin thing from Animal Crossing and like really pushing it to the max, like. But I feel like part of, <clears throat> part of it does Ugh. help. Like it really does. Honestly, that fish eye lens does make it a little bit easier for me to like picture myself actually looking into this like a oh, diorama. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> also, I will I will say like even from the original you know design pitches for the so for Sonic Extreme, I do appreciate the double jump because not to min not gonna mince words here. I mean, I appreciate the attempt, but the controls could use a little getting used to. That is fine. Are they floaty? They're a little floaty, yes. Alrighty. I yeah. mean, floaty, a tad slippery, and I mean, let's also remember that we're playing as the world's fastest hedgehog. I I'm going to have to move my eyes away from the screen. Okay. No worries. So, so is our main objective just to get to the center of this grand sphere of a world? Something like that. Like, they don't outright... S that was kind of the one big weird bit about, about this whole game, this whole thing, is that, like, once you reach a certain portion of the level, it just ends. Oh, like right here. Like that. Well, he did it. By, by the yeah, way, you beat it. by the way, another thing to make people uh, feel old, uh, I don't know if we did that, Ooh. talked about it before or after, but, uh, yeah, another thing to make fe people feel old, uh, it's Freakazoid's 25th birthday today. Yes, and I, I'm glad that people are giving it the respect it deserves, even if it's 25 years late. Have I don't good care. Time, I love dear. that show so. I just love that show so devil damn much. So James, what are we looking at now? This will be our final bit, final uh, game for my half of the showcase, and probably one of one of the probably my favorite uh, game hot? For, from this. <laughs> not super nope. hot. This is this right here is Mega Man Perfect Blue, is which is oh pretty much a two D. Well, it's a typical two D Mega Man game that you're instructed to be a little more than a typical two D Mega Man game. You can play as roll with a broom, and it starts immediately with its with its more extravagant art style, so while still being while still being a pixely game in the process. Yeah, it. because that's honestly one of the things that strikes me the most when it comes to um, Mega Man fan games, and this in particular is that like I get why people do it, but personally, I'm kind of burnt out on seeing Mega Man fan games just sticking with the S with the NES sprites this, and not doing a whole lot else. This, this is, I think is like a really good compromise. I love these sprites. So yeah, the this looks like it looks like he has um, the proportions and. Uh, it looks like he has the proportions and movement of the NES, but kind of—he looks like a perfect meld between the NES and SNES Mega Man. And that's I was a good thing. Say, oh, yeah, nice. Pretty <clears throat> much in total agreement there. And um, one thing is, one other thing worth mentioning is that, um, well, they have visible checkpoints in the form of these little random Robo dudes. That kind of look like your helmet. I was—I was gonna say, I think it's—I think it is—I think it's. I think it's also, the fact that you see the little RPG-esque damage numbers, it almost makes me think of uh, what would happen if the Cave Story developer made a Mega Man game. I can see that. Careful. Nice. That's nice. a game we need to show off, if we haven't. At some point or another, though, planning around that will be tricky, especially considering the fact that, you know, it'd be kind of a sin to, to use more recent versions of Cave oh, Story. Oh yeah, no, use the original. Right. <clears throat> well, what's wrong with recent versions? He, that, that the developer got royally screwed over by the publisher. Oh, okay. Well, I just meant, like, was there, like, any... Uh, like, in terms of, like, the game itself, were there any, like, big changes between the two? Not with the game, just the morals behind what you're doing. That's fair. And... We can get more into that kind of stuff later. And um, another thing that, can be, that you can do if you want to be a dick, you can blow up the checkpoints. So, oh, jeez. Oh, shit. So you can, you can shovel knight. Uh, uh, shovel knight, yeah. Shovel knight. Mm -hmm. And uh oh, a mid boss. You can oh, we're not fighting that mid boss. Uh oh shit. <laughs> we're fighting this mid boss. Uh oh. 
This ain't your average everyday Mega Man mini boss. This is advanced mini boss. And that's also one thing I like about this mini boss. If you look more closely when it does its flamethrower, there's actually a little line that tells what trajectory oh, the flame I know. attack goes. Oh, it's a ni uh, the design in this is nice. Like it doesn't. None of this feels like slapdash. It hold feels on. intentional. Every, every, hold on. When he when he oh. does the uh, when he does that thing again. Face the Don't. golden ratio. Oh, okay. Thank God. I thought you were gonna do the other thing with fire. Uh, Seely, how are you no. doing with this Mega- what do you think of this Mega Man? Uh, yeah, this right, is right, intense! I, I was, I was oh. actually curious, like, after doing all the Tempo Woman, all the Tempo and uh, Quake Woman tempo stuff, had woman. you ever been, like, it, more woman. or less, were you ever, like, were you ever curious to try a Mega Man game? Oh. <clears throat> Ow. A little bit. <clears throat> uh, I will say, Seely, if you ever want to get into the classic series, start with oh. Seven, <laughs> because, oh boy. Wow. <laughs> okay. This nice little friend just... job. Oh, the, oh, this oh, is why. James, because... show, yeah, show him off this. <laughs> so in this demo, you not only get to play as Mega Man, but you also get to play as Roll, who they decided, who the developer decided to list as Roll Chan, because you know, Japan. Well, Which yeah. Doctor Light so, decided to finally arm her broom up. It's up. They, yeah. they gave her her broom, and I mean, this is. Playing his role is, is pretty much like playing a, sli a slightly more subdued Zero, which, I mean, was also the case in Mega Man Powered Up, but it's a little more accentuated here because she has a dash. And I also, love no, it. She, she plays really nicely. Oh, yeah. She's she's essentially what I like to call the... She's, she's essentially what I like to call the close range obliterator. Whenever, yeah. she, whenever she dashes, I guess she's rolling with it. Mm. Uh, but mm. anyway, what I was about to say is that, like, <clears throat> if you ever, Seely, if you ever do genuinely want to try out, like, a Mega Man game for yourself, I think the one that would probably be the easiest for you to get into is probably 7, because that's usually one of the easier Mega Man games. I would say either 7 or 8. 2. Or, 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 or heck, if you, ha if you have the means to, I would say Mega Man Powered Up would be the best starting point. I, mm -hmm. For some reason, I remember 4 being pretty good. Four, eh, four's a little I bullshit at points. Three was really, but three was. Two. Oh wait, well, wait, I, oh, here's I the like thing, Matt. Well, I, like... Two's a good game. I'm trying to get her into a game that's easy for newcomers. Two and right. two, as to good as it fair, is, is two is not that hard. Two is not as hard as say nine or ten. Backing, backing up. I honest, what the? Whoa! Whoa! God, dang it! Don't. My game glitched. Oh, uh, don't no. worry, that's intentional. Oh, I know. <laughs> I figured because his face appeared. Uh, when when the game glitched. Oh, okay. Oh. I wonder what. So this actually, this really does make me wonder what the plot is, because there is. This is not just going to be a showcase. This develop the developer of this is preparing a whole story mode. Yeah, and I, I I essentially did show off a good majority of the demo through this bit because um well obviously you can you can still play through all this as Mega Man and he actually has a bit some unique dialogue wait, in his guys, why portion. Are, wait, wait, guys, why are none of us suggesting Mega Man Eleven? Actually, I mean, honestly, we just, you bring that up. Yeah, Mega Man Eleven really wouldn't be that bad of a starting yeah. point. Mega Man Eleven I was, is I was, amazing. I was considering. I was considering. Oh, just, I like I was, Mega Man. I was, I was going to consider since since hype gave his, Matt gave his. I was gonna suggest what the what the hell? Oh, oh, oh there's a glitch in the system. Oh, nope. What's up? You've got to be kidding me! I was gonna suggest Seely just try powered up. A broom as a weapon? I think powered up is good, but anyway. Light is just mocking me at this point. Huh, yes, is. I am. Nevertheless, I'm impressed. Your copy abilities have been quite convincing, even though I don't think Roll has those. Wait, no, he's talking yeah, about Give it time. Can I? Well, what is that, Roll? Oh, he has anyway. no voice, okay. That foolish little girl will need better firepower than that to handle what we have in store. Yes, soon we'll be able to initiate phase one of the plan. Yay. Ellipses. Unless what we... sort of plan that is? Oh. Once blue is ready, of course. Ooh. What's blue? But you already know this can... Oh, that's wrong. No, that's, 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 a, that's But a you lot. already knew no. this. Damn. And stop stealing my voice. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, to be fair, though, I, I will sort of... Get, I, that's a catch me off guard, too. I can see you're thrilled. <laughs> Sarcasm. That attitude won't do you any favors in the long run. Ooh, I can think I see... It should be doing. mentioned that, that he does have different dialogue if you play as Mega Man. Right. Ah, whatever. None of my business. By the way, totally it's conscious that teacher. guy's name is Glitch Man. Probably. ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. Ha, 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 anyway. laugh. But what is happening here? Well, you're gonna have to figure that out in Mega Man Perfect Blue coming out in 20. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but I. Uh, but yeah, once again, 
as a demo, this shows a lot of promise. I am, I'm, I'm very curious to see. I would, I honestly would like to see us do a commentary of it if it's but, like depending on length and stuff. By the way, mm -hmm. whoever is doing the music, great job. Considering it sounds so, it, it sounds like Anamanaguchi. That is good. It should also, <laughs> it should also be mentioned oh, that God. Uh, the uh, His face. <laughs> yeah. It should also, it's also worth mentioning that uh, uh, the person who did the music for Mega Man Perfect Blue actually did upload some, actually did release some of those tracks via Bandcamp, and you can actually get the whole soundtrack so far uh, for any given price. Well, that's very nice. Also, of looking at this guy's face, he looks like just a version of Skull Man. Let me, yeah, uh, let me look at myself. I'm curious now. I mean, that's that's why that's pretty much Wiley for you. Always loving him skulls, but um, that's yeah. it, ladies and gentlemen. That'll pretty much that pretty much sums up my um, my top picks for this year's Sonic Amateur Gaming Expo. Um, as we mentioned before, we're actually not done yet because uh, next time. Oh uh, yes, that that yes that, <laughs> that I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm amateur. Yes, you are. And yes, you are, and you'll be showing are. off your your picks uh, next time. Yep. So stay tuned. I I picked some really fun ones I want to look at, and not at all based on just sheer power of my console. Uh huh. Computer. <laughs> sure. Asshole. That's it. Uh, see you all next time. Bye. I got my plug ready.